uh, not all cases are mapped the same. So uh, I need to make an announcement, a correction. Case mapping is not accurate. In my last video, I talked about case mapping. The ratios that I talked about and box distribution, all that stuff is accurate. That is consistent between cases, but uh, not all cases are mapped the same. I think there was a bulk of cases that came out probably that got packaged at the same time. And there is consistency to those mappings. So if you go into your set five case, and you're looking at the bottom boxes, you could start with opening a top box and the top box has a leader or an Oda Luffy. That would suggest there's potential for it to be mapped in that way. But please disregard in the big picture of the case mapping. I hate spreading misinformation. And I, I recognize that is a level of misinformation. So I apologize about that. Um, however, the other information regarding the boxes and also advice on buying boxes on the secondary market versus keeping stuff sealed and what you want to do with that for your future value of stuff in this game. You can follow those things, but in terms of the case mapping, you can check to see if your case is mapped that way, but it's not for sure that your case is mapped that way. People have had cases mapped in other ways. Now, I wanna go and talk a little bit about Kaizoku cards. I make cards, you may have seen them. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some shiny cards. So here is a card that I will be releasing in the relatively soon future. This is a Zoro card and I make cases, so you can take cases with the card text and you just put the card in the case with the text so you can play the leader with the text like that. That's an example of a case. I sell the cases separately. Um, however, this, as you can see, says artist print. So what this is, is at the beginning of every print that I do, I check to see which foiling pattern I want to use for my limited series. My limited series are serialized to 10 copies. This is the star foil and this is the warp foil. Moving forward, I'm just going to be using these two foils for the limited series, but I always test to see which one I want to use. Now, when I test, I print a couple copies and these are going to be available for pre-release. So before the card releases, there will be four copies of each foil version released. I won't be saying which one I'm going to be using for sure, but you can go ahead and get a copy early. There will be a new section on my site that's titled pre-releases. I've tested a couple pre-releases. People seem to like them. Um, it's cool to get the cards early if you are paying attention. So go ahead and follow Kaizoku cards on Instagram and you may be able to get yourself a pre-release. I'm gonna show off a couple of the upcoming cards I have. This was the Zorro that I just showed, um, and now you see which foil I'm using for that. And then I have a Luffy that looks pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this one. This is the hyperfoil version that will be coming out. This is the Law that I have coming out. This one I'll also be releasing with OP1 text printed on it, and that will have pre-releases and it'll also have a limited foil version. So I will be starting to release some limited foil versions with text. Here's that Zoro we just saw. That's the hyper, hyper foil version of that Zoro. And I'm really excited about this Luffy. I think this Luffy is really sick. So just some exciting stuff to look forward to. Oh yeah, also some, somebody I know I'm very excited for, Sabo, the Sabo Wanted. So this is coming up and I also, the next Wanted card I'll be releasing this week will be Wanted Law. I'm gonna be doing a pre-release for the Wanted Law today that we'll be releasing. So you can go follow Kaizoku Cards on Instagram for drop information. Um, this is a really hype one here. You can see this is serious. I have new card backs also, and the new um, limited series card backs have this foil backing on them. So some cool new card backs, some cool exciting stuff. I am a dentist, I can't end without a dental tooth tip. This video was, actually I don't know how long this video was, but you should brush your teeth for two minutes in the morning and at night. Really at night, it's more important you really wanna get all this stuff off your teeth so it doesn't attract bacteria. And some really exciting news, um, there's a bacteria that's being developed that may actually prevent cavities. It may get rid of cavities permanently. I don't know how far that off is off in the future, but there's a biomedical lab that is researching a bacteria that outperforms the bacteria that produce cavities. So exciting stuff for the future. Hopefully enough people kiss each other and inoculate everybody and that bacteria doesn't cause other issues, but hopefully it just gets rid of cavities. That'll be pretty awesome. Thanks for checking this out and I'll see y'all in the next one.